เศร้าอ่ะพี่มาแต่งสาวะโอเคเรดเย่โตชะเทียเรดเย่สาวโตชะเทีย Hi YouTube, welcome to my hub. I am back. I hope you guys are feeling great and you're ready to vibe with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button with notifications bell on, and let's get back to the clips. 1989, Bob Lazar tells the world he's been reverse engineering flying saucers at Area 51. I have worked on extraterrestrial vehicles, also referred to as flying saucers, for the United States government. Take my word for it. There's no Area 51, Mr. President. That's not entirely accurate. What? George Knapp uncovered evidence of Lazar's presence at Los Alamos, including Lazar's listing in a lab phone book and a newspaper article featuring him. Los Alamos Monitor. There he is on the front page with his jet car. I've interviewed four or five people who worked with him there, who said he was there working on classified projects. UFO sightings in the airspace above Groom Lake Skyrocket. He claims the flying saucers were powered by a strange alien energy source called Element 115. According to Lazar, the process involves directing protons towards Element 115, effectively transforming it into Element 116. However, Element 116 is highly unstable and rapidly disintegrates, releasing vast energy in the process. Lazar believes this mechanism allows flying saucers to defy conventional gravitational laws and achieve extraordinary velocities. He suggests that they can manipulate space itself, pulling it towards the craft. And enveloping it, which facilitates their travel across vast distances at speeds much faster than light. Hidden technology, people, no longer hidden, guys. Element 115 is a super heavy element. It's something that we only only just recently synthesized. We only made four atoms of it. The craft uses larger quantities of it, 223 gram little triangles of it. But it's a unique element. When it's exposed to radiation, it produces its own gravitational field, its own anti-gravitational field, and it's what's used to lift and propel the craft and create distortions around it. It's an amazing material, and it's certainly nothing that occurs here or naturally. Element 115. I I don't I don't know that I've done enough research on this、uh, element and what it does, the purposes of its own gravitational forces and whatnot.、Um, by intellect, I'm just thinking that it is used. It was reverse engineered to、uh, utilize it for our reverse engineer crafts.、Uh, how we copy their technology.、Um, it is. In our periodic table,、um, I don't know if at some point wasn't,、um, and it was synthesized, like he said, and then included in the periodic table. But anyways, I know nothing about this. So if you guys have any knowledge and you can help a sister out, just understand、um, its concept and what is used for. Educate me, educate a sister. Drop it in the comments below for me, okay? I love to hear about it. In the 1970s, the CIA developed a secret project called the Gateway Process at the Monroe Institute. This project was to unlock the secret and nature of reality and consciousness of the mind, and its whole goal was to figure out what consciousness was. So now here's the odd thing, because the CIA actually already knows what the universe looks like.、It、looks like this, which is odd, because that means our government already knows that the Big Bang is a lie, because they've already discovered that it operates like a torus, where it there is a Big Bang, but there's also A reset where everything gets pulled in and then spit back out, so it works like a cycle, like an infinity loop. In fact, it actually says right here, from Big Bang to Taurus. Essentially, what they figured out is once your brain reaches a certain frequency, that you can actually hack your brain by using binaural beats, which is playing one frequency in this ear and another frequency in this ear, and your brain bounces out and finds in between. And what matches a certain frequency, like right up here, you essentially pop out of reality or out of your body into an out-of-body experience. So essentially, this is what our universe actually looks like. It's called the cosmic egg, or again, a torus. Which, if you look again, does that not look like your heart? Recently, a woman shared this picture along with many others on her social media platform. And when asked what they were, she told them they were something she felt the world should know about. And that she harnessed the skills needed to spot them around her in everyday life while working for the CIA on Project Gateway. There was recently an interesting declassified CIA document. It surrounds the training of psychic soldiers and enhancements to the brain, known as the Gateway Process Experience Experiments. The document showed a written letter between one of the heads of the experiment and a U.S. government high-ranking official. 
They spoke of the analysis of the experiment. Most likely, the US government didn't know exactly what was going on with them. So they would send an agent in undercover to go through the process to make sure it was worth the funding or not. The overall analysis stated that our brains vibe at a certain frequency, but we're only using one side of it. If we could get the other to vibe at the same frequency, we can have a hyper focus. That's why this lady can spot the fairies and others can't, but we can gain the knowledge because there's more around us than we ever knew. Okay, guys, so I have two words. Let me sync also known as hemispheric synchronization so um, look this up tune in look it up on youtube tune in and try this technique to go to sleep um, literally synchronizing your left side of the brain with the right side of the brain is is a dream before the dream so i recommend it oh, shit. holy shit oh How many people work here? Like 12 or 15. Can you tell them to come up? I want to give you guys a tip today. Friday blessings, I want to give you a tip. Yeah. Serious? Just want to help people, yeah. Thank right. you so much, God bless Get, you. Bring everyone over here, bring all the workers. So, I'm giving you a tip, brother. I hope this oh, helps really? you. Yeah, I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm giving everyone a tip. Okay. Tell, tell all your coworkers hey. to come over here. Thank you. I want to tip you. You're Thank welcome. you. I hope this helps you, buddy. Is that everyone? Uh, let me see one more. What are you doing, man? I tipped your whole staff. I see that. I just want to help people. Thank you. God. Yeah. I think we are blown away right now, all of us. Like, we're just odd socks. I'm not going to forget when I get home tonight after 11, I'm going to so I tipped the whole. I tipped the whole company. That's for you, so. The whole staff, all right? God bless. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. The world definitely needs more of this, you guys. Let's spread love. There's so much going on. There is tsunamis, there's earthquakes, there's uh, hidden uh, knowledge coming out, ancient knowledge. Um, there's so much floods, sinkholes. The least that we can do is spread a little bit of love. I mean, every day I promise you that I'm in CVS, Walmart, uh, whatever, Target, I'm telling myself, I want to have the nine to five where I can just stand in front of uh, a store and just wait for that one person that I can pay her groceries or his groceries for, uh, or just surprise them at the register. Like I'm that kind of person. I have that heart. So if all we can do is spread love in moments like these, um, let's do it. Let's, let's spread love.
Now here is a video with irrefutable proof of demons at work. Now watch closely. Performing such a feat defies gravity, something scientifically and physically impossible. Here is where it gets really interesting. Look closely. Do you notice that black shadow or demon behind him? Again, performing this is totally impossible without the help of an entity. Did you see it? The demon has been behind, assisting him all the while. Climbing up invisible steps? Just how did he do this? Can you make out that translucent pair of black hands catching him? So, how did this little boy pull off all of these impressive stunts? Is he dabbling with black arts and demons? The ending is really interesting as the demon finally shows itself. So, is this demons at work? As always, you decide. A leopard quickly rushed towards a man and bit him crazily a leopard from the grassland actually broke into the village hundreds of villagers and police came to catch the leopard you would never believe it how tragic the leopard's fate would be this is a true scene that happened in India the leopard stole the villagers dogs as soon as the sun rose people started the capture operation unexpectedly this leopard was very irritable it was like going crazy running and attacking everyone the leopard pounced directly on the man who wanted to escape the man was instantly dragged to the ground the police came with a tranquilizer gun but the leopard moved very fast the police had no chance to shoot they could only watch helplessly the leopard pressed the man on the ground and rubbed at this critical moment someone threw a stick from above this scared the leopard away then the leopard ran out and jumped on the fence. Facing the siege of everyone, the leopard hid in an abandoned house. Suddenly, facing the fierce and agile leopard, everyone seemed to have no good way. Then the leopard jumped into an alley. A man blocked the door. The leopard turned around and quickly fled to the other side. The leopard escaped unscathed in front of hundreds of people. Another successful escape. The man wanted to intercept the leopard with a fishing net but this leopard was not afraid at all he directly knocked the man down this guy was like walking on the wall this made the buddha angry the police swore to bring the leopard to justice then the leopard ran into a villa look carefully several men had set up a net everyone saw the leopard and quickly raised their vigilance the leopard rushed out quickly directly hit the big net suddenly the man fell to the ground everyone rushed up afraid that the ferocious leopard would escape again and the angry villagers took sticks saying they wanted to kill the leopard the police rushed forward to stop them so how do you think the leopard should be dealt with So I would consider that little dude playing chess a star seed. Definitely a genius. Um, I've seen those tricks done before, those magic trick tricks done before, where somebody's hiding behind the person that's performing the magic tricks and whatnot. So I probably call that cap um, lies and deceit. But definitely, it portrays it portrays something like a demon in the background. I guess they're all dressed in black or whatever their costume is like I don't think is a demon um, yeah so live it up if you go to the fair and you um, jump on any rides just make sure that you're not buckled make sure that you're not protected um, you know hang on for your dear life and make sure that your back ends up not broken yeah that's your people's no uh -huh. yeah it's not First, the deers were going crazy, and now they're getting frozen. Temperatures hit negative 58 in Russia, and there are freezing animals everywhere, y'all. Wow.
Look at this shit, y'all. Things are getting interesting. You guys keeping up with what's going on around the world? Don't worry, I'm gonna keep bringing y'all that heat. I got more videos for y'all, all right? And in order for me to do that, you need to follow me on all my platforms, especially on my YouTube, where I break these things down on an esoteric level. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get the shift. Peace in. I just asked them is they, if they know that the black people are the real Jews. Do y'all know that? Uh, yeah, uh, black people are the real Jews. Yeah. So, because a lot, uh, I, we don't know. They're not telling us. No, because they, they use the they whitewash the whole thing they, down to make you believe that the blacks were you know of no significance. But. And where and where are you from? I'm from India. From India. See, I keep telling y'all, people overseas know who we are. I keep telling y'all. But that's, y'all don't want to believe me. <laughs> they don't want to believe me. Whatever. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know if you are up to par and you do know that the blacks, which is not even a color, are the real Jews. Let's get it. So I dug real deep into it and I got to the understanding that we're living in a multi-dimensional universe and there's at least 11 dimensions, otherwise the universe would collapse. Each dimension is a 90 degree angle right above the next one, compactified, so they're sitting right on top of us. So within less than a Planck unit of space above you, there is another dimension that actually exists with a whole other universe happening simultaneously while we're sitting right here. Wild. That's hard to fathom. It's hard to yeah. it's hard to fathom. So right here where we're sitting right now, there's a whole other dimension of, of a whole other universe yeah. happening, life taking place. Yes. Right in the same space that right, we are. Right, right, right here. Right here where we are. Right here. Vast too. Vast. Just as vast as ours is vast. And uh, from higher dimensions, they experience time differently. Time really doesn't exist. The past, present, and the future happen all at once. So somebody, for example, uh, from the fifth dimension would look at us, and they'd be able to see us. Imagine us in this building here, but imagine when I first walked in, and imagine us in here, and imagine me like in the bathroom or something. They'd be able to see us in all the different rooms. The different rooms represent different time frames mm. of existence within this structure. So they can see the past, present, and future at the same time. Uh, you know, so it's pretty cool. Weird stuff starts happening the higher the dimensions you go. So is the idea that when you're in a higher dimension, you can only see, you can see below lower dimensions, but you can't see dimensions above you? Exactly. Unless you have the capability of matching. First, you have to obtain the frequency of a higher dimension and then match that frequency to be able to walk in. So and match the frequency. Yeah. So, for example, um, OK, my hand is stopped now by this table. Right. right. Why is it stopped? I'm not really touching the table. There's repulsion going on, electromagnetic repulsion between the electrons in my hands repelling the electrons in the table. You don't really touch anything. Now, if I can match the subatomic frequency of the atoms in this chunk of wood here on this table I could, uh, with my hand, I would be able to pass my hand right through this table unscathed. Why? Because atoms are 99.999% empty space. Nothing is really here. Everything is only a light wave slowed down to a particular frequency. And so if you can match frequencies, you can merge with things. You can walk through walls and all that kind of stuff. The things that are seen paranormal could be advanced beings have tapped into some type of uh, understanding of how to match different frequencies in our dimension and appear apparition apparitional or, or, or paranormal. But in true reality, they could just be taking a peek in. And how do we come to the understanding that these higher dimensions exist? Like, what is the most basic evidence that we have of this? Quantum physics uh, proves it. See, when we look into the quantum world, everything changed. In standard physics is where we have where we are right now, on the large side of physics. But the smaller you go, the more weird things get. We find that particles transphase in and out of existence, and they go to different dimensions. We even know now that some of our synapses of our thoughts in our brain phase out of this dimension and they go somewhere else and then they come back again and this has all been tracked and traced through the understanding of quantum mechanics and quantum physics mm -hmm. and understanding that dimensions exist uh, the biggest way that we made a model of this is we we figured out how to create something called quasi crystals now these quasi crystals are these multi-dimensional crystals we actually created an eighth dimensional quasi crystal we created this yes we and created how did we create it we created a laboratory okay. using different technologies, and then from that eighth dimensional quasi crystal, it casts a it casts a shadow of itself down to a fourth dimensional quasi crystal, 
which then casts down a shadow which creates a sphere. So we know that the, the universe is most likely the shadow of a higher dimension. It's crazy stuff. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> mind-bending. <laughs> Interesting theory, guys. Definitely. Billy Carson, you guys should be following him on TikTok, uh, Instagram, all his platforms. Incredible. Uh, incredible knowledge. But definitely, I do believe what he said. I think um, a higher dimension casts a shadow creating a lower dimension but anyways i want to hear your thoughts and comments down below educated sister go the more advanced the civilization became the less they did they put the work into recording that it was weird mm. so for instance there's not a single writing left behind from atlantis they didn't do cuneiform writing in the stones they probably had paper and they probably had digital records digital the reason I say that is that we've found some really weird artifacts in the Mediterranean over the last hundred years. There was an artifact found off of Greece that has mechanical components in it that don't make sense. So this is the one Michu Kaku talked yeah. about. This was down at the bottom yeah. of the Mediterranean. That's it. Thank you. Uh, around 1900 or so, uh, there was a shipwreck off the coast of Greece mm -hmm. and divers found an instrument encrusted in coral. It looked like a piece of junk. But when they cleaned it, they realized, no, it's a machine, a machine that is 2,000 years old. And then, then they took x-rays of it, and they realized it's a computer. My God, a computer. They computer. think a computer that was to, supposed to be a gift to Julius Caesar. One of the fastest ways to create something in your physical reality is to reverse the normal process by which we create things. Usually we create things first by thinking about it. I think I'll go to that party. And then we say something about it, as in, Matilda, I'm coming to your party tonight. And then we do something about it, as in, showing up at the party. Here I am, just as I said I would be, because I thunk the thought this morning. Okay? That's generally how we produce things in our reality. But if you want to really play tricks with the universe and create magic with the stuff of life itself, reverse the thought word deed paradigm turn it upside down and start with the deed that is to say act as if if you want to experience abundance be abundant and do as abundance does therefore if you have only five dollars left to your name go to a store and get them transferred made into singles I take five singles and walk down the street and give a single to each of five people who have even less than you do and by the way you will find those people very easily when you're all alone watching tv in your living room who's watching back sounds like something out of black mirror right well if you're unlucky enough to be targeted by the cia then it's very real what i'm talking about is called project weeping angel and this comes from the vault 7 wikileaks Weeping Angel is a form of malware that infects TVs um, and turns them into remote listening devices that record your private conversations and send them back to the CIA for analysis. The malware is persistent and it even works when your TV appears to be off. So if you've been infected, there's almost no way of knowing. Even though it's scary, I think this is just another thing that everyone should know about. So if you're interested in learning more about the Vault 7 WikiLeaks, uh, CIA black budget operations, conspiracy theories, or aliens, uh, make sure to like this video and uh, follow me for more. I will be posting daily. Thanks, guys. I understand how do you not believe in any conspiracy theories? I understand not all of them, not most of them, but you don't believe in any conspiracy theories? You just think the government's just batting a thousand and telling us the whole truth? <laughs> That's a strong stance to take. <laughs> and again, as I said before, I don't like talking about politics on stage or off stage. I don't like talking about things I don't feel like I'm truly knowledgeable in. But I do know this. Our government is placed in charge of all of its people. I'm a father who's been placed in charge of just one son. And I lie to that all the time. You're saying the Earth is spinning at 1,000 miles per hour in a circle around the sun, and then the sun is also spinning at 500,000 miles per hour? I went to Walmart. I found this on my car saying... Sorry for the damage on your car, can't afford to fix it, but here's chocolate instead. 
left this and here's the damage on my car. That's it for this compilation, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss my next drop. I'll see you next time, YouTube. Stay safe.